What's going on with the YouTube, it's your boy? 345 Germany today's video, man. We're gonna be giving y'all the top five interior things I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT. So as all I can see, the exterior pretty much the outside of the car looks set type shit. So we're gonna be letting y'all know the things that I hate about the inside and stuff like that. So screen wise, power wise, seat wise, shit like that, you know, arm sick uh the arm compartments and shit like that. So you gonna let y'all boys know like what's the top five things I hate specifically about mods, man. But this is a 2016 Dodge Challenger RT Plus, man. This is my baby, but it is a couple cons that I uh, don't like about it. So that's what we're gonna be explaining in today's video, man. So make sure y'all boys stick to the end. And that's probably gonna be probably day one, two, or three out of seven days straight. I'm doing another one for y'all boys, man. So make sure y'all tapping into all the seven days straight videos. And I'm gonna be making a, like a playlist for it and shit so y'all can just click on all of them just in case y'all missed one and shit like that. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and start this video off for y'all, man. So let me go ahead. Let me start by opening up both doors for y'all. I'm gonna open up this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up this side for y'all as well. And I'm gonna scoot back real quick and show y'all pretty much. So as all I can see. Boom, this is what you looking like. I got the black hood, black roof, as all I can see. But tenant windows and shit, you know, just the uh, casual shit. Don't mind all of this dirt right here. Um, we're gonna handle all of that. But let me sit this right here, so maybe forget that. But let's go ahead and get y'all to the interior, man. So let me just give y'all a little rundown real quick, so I can see. I got the um the leather doors, um, and I got Alcatara leather. These is the 50th anniversary seats that come out of uh 2020 scat packs only and shit like that, and the RTs. So I was able to get these, fortunately, and I also got the Alcatara leather in the back as well, y'all. Go ahead and start this off for y'all pretty much on the inside. I just had to share a rundown on my seats and stuff because y'all probably never seen the RT with the orange Alcatara leather seats before. So let me get y'all in this. So this is how it's looking on the inside as y'all can see. Y'all probably like, Jeremy, it don't look so bad for an RT. What is like, what could you possibly hate about the interior on it? So one, I'm gonna tell y'all, uh, the first thing I hate about the interior, y'all, having like the craziest blind spots, y'all. So as y'all can see, if you wanted to look out this window for real, you barely can because of how small it is and from the angle. And from when you being right here, this headrest is also in the way too. So you gotta like look over. The only thing you can really tell to catch your blind spots is your mirrors, y'all. So you gotta really pay attention to your mirrors and the tally because the blind spots, they real small, y'all. Because they got smaller windows in the back, it is a coupe instead of a sedan. So I understand why it would be smaller, but that'd be like the first thing I do not like about the interior. But on to the second one, y'all. The thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT would it be in having no floor mats, y'all. So as y'all can see in the front and the back, it has no floor mats, even in the driver's seat. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, I don't like that just for the fact that my carpet get dirty real fast and I gotta constantly vacuum in it. I gotta constantly vacuum it and for the stuff to be hard to get up off the carpet and shit like that. Well, compared to if I had like four mats, I'll be able to just dump out half of the stuff and it wouldn't, my carpet wouldn't need to be as dirty for real. All the stuff would be on the floor mat if that makes sense. If y'all know what I'm trying to say, y'all know how floor mats work for cars. But that'll pretty much be like two. I don't like how dirty my floor gets so often and shit like that. But we're gonna go on to the third thing I hate about my interior for my Dodge Challenge RT, y'all. Third thing i do not like about my dodge challenger rt y'all would be like the compartment space so this is pretty much like the only compartment space you get right here and i would say like besides the door like pretty much right here and stuff but you gotta like open it up for real because when you're driving and stuff it's real hard to just reach back there and stuff you know what i'm trying to say like you gotta you know what i'm saying and you get the doors right here as well same on the passenger side as well too but that's pretty much all the compartment space you get in the end, pretty much like this. But as y'all can see, that's like not really nothing and shit. So um, that would be like the third thing I hate. And let's go ahead and get y'all onto the fourth thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, man. Fourth thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, y'all, would be being how my phone and a lot of stuff always falling in between the seats, y'all. So I don't know if y'all know, but if y'all got Chelly's, 
y'all would probably know what I'm talking about. But it's so easy for stuff to fall in between the seats, y'all. And it's real deep down there to dig your hand down there and reach and stuff like that. And my hands is real big. So most of the time, I'm like scratching my skin and stuff to dig my hand down here to get in and stuff like that. But on both sides, it's real hard to usually get stuff from in between the uh, seats and stuff like that until you really get out the car, scoot the seat forward or backwards and stuff like that, y'all. So that'll pretty much be like my fourth thing. I hate about my Dodge Challenge RT. Like I said, I hate when my stuff falls in between the seat, like my phone. That all, that happened a lot. It usually slides off my lap and then fall right in between the seats and stuff like that, y'all. Just for the fact that the chalice don't got much compartment space. Like I said, it's not really, it's nowhere where you can really sit your phone out without a slot. And I set it in the seat and it'll still slide off and stuff. So that'd be like the fourth thing. And let me go ahead and give you all the fifth one, man. Hey, the fourth thing I hate about my dot, well, not the fourth, the fifth one, I apologize, y'all. But the last thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, y'all, would have been having the Uconnect only work when you plug in your charger into the USB port right here. So y'all know what I'm talking about. The Apple CarPlay and stuff really don't work for, uh, I think the origins from like 26, from 2015 to 2018, I think 2019 and above work. But I know that you got to stick your charger in here. And they, in order for it to get the Apple CarPlay on your screen, if you don't do it like that, y'all, you'll pretty much just get the normal Challenger look and shit like that. But uh, that's the fifth thing I hate. I don't like how the fact that if you can, you can just connect your phone and it automatically, you know, uh, just work with it and stuff like that. I don't like the fact that you gotta do extra and stick your phone charger in here just to have an Apple CarPlay to where the new ones could just automatically connect and it'll have it on there. If that's what I'm trying to say, so. That'll pretty much be like the last one. Um, let me go ahead and give y'all a bonus one as well, man. Just for the uh, video length, I'm going to try to keep this a little longer, you know. But the last thing I hate, and we're going to end it off after I give y'all this last thing I hate about my channel, you RT, man. All right, man. The last thing I hate about my Charlie RT, y'all, on the interior side. Y'all, my phone connected to the car. But like I was saying, some of the apps not functioning like they was when you first got the car. So some of these apps is outdated because they stopped. Uh, I think they stopped working on the screens and stuff like that and servicing them and shit like that for updates. I'm not sure. But I just know that not all the apps work like all uh, the newer apps do on a 2019 and above Charger and Challenger RT trims and stuff like that, y'all. So that would pretty much be like the last one, I'll say. But most of them still work, but it's just like certain apps that don't work or it's say like you need to uh, you connect assistance and stuff like that, if y'all know what I'm trying to say. But um, that would pretty much be like the last one. And we're going to end the video off here, man. But like I said, it's not too much things I really hate about the Challenger RT. These were nothing major. Like I said, but it's still stuff that I could have listed and stuff for that uh, for the time being for y'all, man. So make sure y'all boys like, comment, share, subscribe, and we're going to end the video off right here, man. Peace. Look at my racks solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm going to mow it. I'm going to blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rock, can't fall.